Houston, our instruments are showing that we have a incoming message from deep space. Repeat, Houston, we have an incoming message from deep space. Houston, we'll begin playing message now. Houston, we're going to try and translate that up here. Hold for translation. Translation complete. We'll begin playing message now. Hey, it's me, Melissa. What do you do when the aliens invade? Take a shot of MK Ultra and watch Melissa Jade. Put on your tinfoil hat and tune right in. We got their crime spree, flat earth theories, government conspiracies, a complex Mandela effects, unidentified objects of mind expanding, fake moon landing, what it all depends understanding. It's me, Melissa. It's me, Melissa. Aliens is on the sun, or in Area 51, time travels, unravels, haunted castles, cops are baffled, potential experimental thoughts that make you transcendental. It's me, Melissa. It's me, Melissa. Crime streets, flatter theories, government conspiracies, complex Mandela effects, unidentified objects of mind expanding, fake moon landing, what it all fits understanding. It's me, Melissa. It's me, Melissa. Hello, everybody. Happy members only Monday right out the gate. We have Elena who gifted 10 memberships. So congratulations to all of our new members. Thank you so much, Elena. Please make sure to thank Elena in the chat if you are a lucky recipient and got busted out. Hello, legendary. My deepest apologies. Hello, Kimberly, Wolfie, Jen, Meg. Yo, Adrian, Natasha, Loki, Forgets and Shiggles, Brandy, Nana Banana, Kelly, Chase is on the case, Riley, we have Kathy Four, Michelle L, Cool Gamer, ooh, made homemade pasta sauce, and Tisha Shenanigans sounds like a good Monday. Hey, Neat Noodle, we have Destination, Melanie. Sunshine Mafia, Skylab. Let me see. Katie Katz, Little Red O, Anna Cassis. We have all the best people. Hi, Leanne S. Let me keep going. Who did I miss? Roro. Let me see. Petunia, how you doing, Petunia? Carrie Beth, I may have said that already, but hi, Starlight Angel. Nope, not today, Meg P. All the best. Oh, thank you so much for another month of membership. I am really grateful. I'm so happy you got it, Meg. Thank you again, Alina. It's so kind of you. Um, and by the way, Alina. I'm on the last episode now. <laughs> I literally had to pause it right to start this. Um, it's it's I'm I'm excited. Hi, dog mom. Hi, Christina J. Victoria Lee, Lily's Corner. Courtney says I'm going to play dinner in 15 minutes, but I'm here to chat for now. Otherwise, I'll be listening with complete content. Perfect, beach lover. Dog Mom, I'm so glad to be one of the members only lives. How fun is this? I'm so happy, Dog Mom. We do it every Monday. Um, 
Again, it's open for the public, for anybody who may not be able to afford a membership. I totally understand. So that's why I try to keep it open for everybody, but exclusive as far as the chat is concerned uh, for members, because you have to have a perk, right? Um, but I'm so appreciative for all of you guys to be here, whether you're a member, whether you're watching from beyond the wall, you guys all mean so much to me. So thank you, Elena. Now, Elena just gifted another 10 memberships. Thank you so much, Elena. Congratulations again to all of our new members. If you just got busted out from Elena, please make sure to thank her. You guys, I love members only Monday too, Beach Lover. I really do. Um, I really feel beyond blessed to have such an amazing community. Um, and I very much look forward to coming on. I don't know. Like, I feel like we, especially the Tisha group, I feel like we all just share a common fascination. Uh, I don't even know what words to describe, like curiosity, amazement, bewilderment. I don't even know, but we all consistently come back for more with Tisha. And that's why like, I changed it to a behavioral study because I wouldn't even classify this as like true crime coverage because it's no longer an active case. And I try not to um, repeat constant discussion of the murder itself because Gannon and his family deserve peace. And I'm not trying to hit that in versus a study of a killer's mind, right? If she is, and thank you for my black card, Elena, um, a study of the killer's mind. Yeah, disgust. Yeah. Um, and she's just so unique and so unlike anything I've ever seen. And I really want to find, is there anybody else out there like her? I know that we get a little close. We have Jody Arias. We have um, Casey Anthony. But nothing like Tisha. Nothing quite like Tisha. And I just can't. I don't know. Like, I don't get tired of going through her stuff, especially in this chronological format. I like, because you're watching how her brain works, yet I don't understand, especially right now, right? Right now, it's been really interesting and it's been picking up the last couple of lives because we're watching Amy Lang come into the picture. We're watching her manipulate Amy Bolton, Harley, and Brenda. Because in correlation to when the calls are taking place, she's actively dropping her lawyers and going pro se. And it's so bizarre to hear how she rationalizes it, how she ever thought, because she says she has a second backup iCloud that has all of this exonerating evidence, which, okay, if she wants to talk a big game, talk a big game. But she is actively making moves as if she has this evidence. Now, we know she doesn't have this evidence. She knows she doesn't have this evidence. So how the hell was she actually making moves regarding her case as if she did? That's the part that blows my mind. Oh, congratulations, Maccabi. Thank you, Elena. Yay, I got a membership. Congratulations. So happy to have you here. And thank you again, Elena. Um, well, thank you, Beach Lover. There's no one quite like grandma, but there's no one quite like Letitia. Deal. Tisha just, I, I hear MJ put an X in especially. Do I? I, I, I haven't been pointed out with that word yet. I guess I do. Especially. I do. But nobody has ever pointed that out, Neat Noodle. So thank you for another word I say incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I tend to put X in words, breakfast, especially. <laughs> I think it's the X. I think it's like the X, breakfast, especially. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> it's unique. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited. So we're going to finish out February. We're finishing out February today, and we have three calls left in February. We might start March. It depends on how we're feeling. Um, hi, Harlot. 
Yes, I've been obsessed with this case since it happened in 2020. I know I've listened to her for hours and I still still hear certain phrases um, that makes me think she has always incriminated herself. Yes. Hi, Meatfoot. I love Melissa. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like I could listen to it over and over and over again and still be mind blown. And she keeps going 2021, J Lord. Like, yeah, we're going in chronological order. So we started in 2020 and we are just moving along. And I don't give a crap how long it takes because I enjoy, I very much enjoy going over this with you guys. Um, yes, I know. I know. I know. That was recently uh, at trial. And that is a horrible one also. Um but okay, so we have February 2021. I think this call starts with, let me see, I think it's Harley. But let me, do, no, it might be Umbrella. Let me, do, no, 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 no. Okay, where we last left off yesterday, now I remember. Last night, we ended off with a call with Amy Lang, and she hangs up that call. And then she was supposed to call Amy Lang back on a video visit, but she actually picks up and calls Amy Bolton. That's where we last left off. So this is going to be the same day where we left off yesterday. She hangs up with Amy Lang. She picks up and now she calls Amy Bolton. So let me pull that up. I can't believe how opposite I was with how Ann Katrina looked, though. I was really, really okay. Um... I was really wrong with how Ann Katrina looked. I really pictured her like a taller, broader, short, crinky, blonde, curly hair lady. And she is not. Amy Lang started to write her letters. Amy Lang isn't anybody special, so to speak. She just reached out. She was part of the group. She followed the case. And she reached out and Letitia responded. And ultimately, she became her power of attorney. That's how it went, okay? So this call is February 26th with Amy Bolton, 7.51 p.m., so right after she hangs up with Amy Lang. Thank you for using Global Tell Link. Hey. What's up, Holly? Nothing. How you doing? That's Leanne. That's Connor's mom. Hey. Okay, yeah. It always does that. Okay, hold on. I got to go back. Hi, beautiful. Hey. I still can't set your meeting. I know. I'm sorry. I forgot. Alina. Alina came in and gifted another five memberships. Alina, thank you. Congratulations again to all of our new members Please thank Elena in the chat if you are a lucky recipient. I'm so happy to have all of you guys here for Members Only Monday and for everyone who could participate. So thank you so much for all of the support. It really means so much. And congratulations to our newest recipients. What's the call name? It's okay. Just reminding you. Okay. Sorry. Let me give one more context before I play. She just had court today in relative to the calls. So she had court earlier in the day. She dropped her lawyers. So if that's part of the discussion, please keep that in mind that she had court this same day. I had a schedule big event for the same totally just forgot. You had a schedule what? I could I had to do this big open house for Zoom. No, 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 no. no, we're not on the right one. Sorry. We're not on the right one. It's this one. Okay, tell your husband. Thank you for using Global Telling. Okay, Amy. Hey. What's up, Holly? Nothing. How you doing? Girl, I know wired up, man. I'm just hyper and sick and wired up. Oh, God. Why? Yeah, why? Because right. I was freaking out because, okay, so. <clears throat> what this one person else? got arrested today. Well, not today, a couple days ago. And I just called some. Okay, hold on. Wait. Welcome, Mel S. Thank you so much for joining. We're happy to have you here. Okay. I forgot. I forgot for anybody who wasn't here last night. 
when Letitia was talking to Amy Lang, she said, yes, she said, yo, 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 I need you to Google this name. I need you to Google this name. I forgot the name, but it was El Chapo's wife. There was an arrest made and she was like, yo, it wasn't me. Oh shit. It wasn't me. I'm no snitch. I'm no snitch. Oh crap. I got to call E man. I got to call E. So there was an arrest made of El Chapo's wife. And she literally is making it seem like this is connected to her case, to Gannon's murder, that she's got to call E, Edgar, you know, the one that she claimed broke in and took Gannon. Um, and now, so when you hear her speaking to Amy Bolton... She's about to play and push that same narrative. So you had court today. Your family is going to be concerned, right? What up, homie? Your family's going to be concerned. They're going to want to know what's going on all over the news. It's saying that you're dropping counsel. You're, you're going pro se. But Tisha decides, no, no, no. Let me try to correlate El Chapo's wife getting arrested to my case. Try to come out and come back in. You can't hear me, though, if. You have no sound. Um, but go out and come back in. Hi, Mrs. Bend over. Hi, Meowsaurus. This one person got arrested today. Well, not today, a couple days ago. And I just called somebody to find out, hey, did they get arrested? But I was having them check Angel's name to see if they got arrested. She got arrested. But she couldn't pull up her name on Google, but she pulled up the other person's name. So I was over here, like, spazzing out. Thank you, Mr. Well, but why would that matter? Why would that matter? I'll give you the name. So like, what you, do all I'll these people have to Exactly. You're seeing some pushback with Amy. What I noticed ever since Amy and Landon have been communicating and Landon has been trying to get the help through Amy for her custodial case, We've noticed some pushback with Amy. And I, right, Shane, finally, and thank you so much, Mrs. Bendover. Um, I would like to know your guys' thoughts because I know that some people think Amy was actually kind of double dipping. She was keeping her foot in the door, but she was helping Landon. What do you guys think? I, I think she may have been both. You know, I think she may have been both, but she is definitely waking up. So you are witnessing in real time her family realizing, no, there's something severely wrong here. Actions speak louder than words. You say that you're innocent, yet your behavior depicts something completely different. Hi, Shelly Beans. Um, hi, No Malicious. So you're hearing Amy ask, what is what are these people have to do with you, Tisha? I want to know what happened in your court date today. What happened? But why would that matter? Uh, I'll give you the name. So like, let what you, do all I'll these give, people have to do it? I'll give you the name and let you Google it. And you'll figure it out and put two and two together. Uh, no, she won't. Because I fell for it. And I Googled it last night during my live. And it was like, oh, okay. El Chapo. But what Amy's asking you, no. not It doesn't put two and two together if you just see that somebody via El Chapo got arrested. It's going to be you needing to explain to her how this correlates to your charges. That's what you're not doing. Hi, Michelle. Um, I go in chronological order for gets and shiggles. And so I want, you know, Allie and Bendy are so kind and they allow anybody to use our stuff. But I want to give them as much time with, you know, like go over to their channels to uh listen to the new calls that got released i'm going in chronological order um so please go over they have both have amazing channels this is where the original calls got dropped um and they have current calls so eventually i will get there but i'm just going in chronological order so i'm like almost two years behind them um but please if you aren't already subscribed go over subscribe they both have amazing channels this is where i play them from um, and they are so kind and just, and all of you guys, everyone who contributed to these calls, you guys are amazing. So eventually, yes, I'll get there though for gets and shiggles, but I'm waiting and going in order. 
I'll give you the name and let you Google it and you'll figure it out and put two and two together. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so yeah, I've just been doing that, you know. And, uh. You sent me an email? I haven't. Huh? Oh, I was like, I thought you sent me an email. <laughs> oh, I said, I just been, I don't know. I haven't slept for eight in like three days, so I don't know. <laughs> you know you're representing yourself now, huh? Oh, I got that. That's under control. I can't. That's Girl, you. Everybody's reaction is the same. Girl, you're dropping your lawyers. You're representing yourself. And I remember watching this all unfold. And it was big news. It was everywhere. Which, again, you never hear Letitia communicate to Harley about it. You never hear Letitia say, hey, hon, you know, like, let me touch base. This is where things are at. I want you to be at ease. I know everything is all over the news. Let me fill you in so you at least know what the hell is going on. No. But everybody is concerned. Everybody you hear speaking to Letitia is concerned, okay? But Letitia keeps saying, I've got it all. Don't worry. I'm smarter than everybody, and I've got this under control. Yeah, she is too good. Oh, I got that. That's under control. I can't. That's under Girl, control. Girl, you. What are you gonna do? You, what are you, attorney? Attorney Tisha now? Yep, I got it. <laughs> See, she's laughing and making a joke out of it because it's so uncomfortable. What are you, an attorney now? You're a fucking doctor. You're a teacher, and now you're a fucking attorney. You can laugh all you want, but. If you were innocent, Letitia, this is your stepson. He has been brutally, brutally murdered. Would you laugh like that if you were truly innocent? Would this be a game to you if you were truly innocent? No. And this is where her lies really fall short if she doesn't co at least even commit to them. She couldn't even pretend to care about that baby boy. She couldn't even put enough of a performance on to appear to be a stepmother who has lost her stepson. And this is really minimizing and aggravating to listen to because it's not a game. This is his life. Hey, Tisha, now. Yep. I got it. <laughs> How? They don't even let you do anything. Well, I mean, they have they're to. Not even, they're not going to let you go to the library. You know they ain't. They have to. They have to let me go. Oh, Amy, I hope you figured out that they begged Letitia to go to the library. But what was it that she said? She said that the Mexican mafia was trying to recruit her every time she went to the law library. That as she tried to walk down the cell doors, your law library time, Letitia, they were like, come on, Tisha, come on, join the mafia. Come on, all the cool kids are doing it. Come on, Tisha, you know you want to join. The Mexican mafia was trying to recruit her. And then it turned into, well, the medication they have me on makes me drowsy. And I don't like the time slot you've given me for the law library. So you signed over your rights for the law library. You gave up your time slot. And they even said, because there are incident reports logging it, that they encouraged you, don't do that. You're going pro se. You need the law library time. Well, you think that, but they're assholes. No, the VA said today that they would have to let me be able to go meet with advisory council. Yes. Well, they they have yeah you think that but I feel like they're not going to do well, what if they to. don't then it's on evidence here like it'll be it'll be recorded on the email system here mm -hmm. if they deny me and then that's even more serious trouble yeah at least it'll be recorded then where it's not recorded when I had you know like a turn they just hung up and I was like oh okay. what's the price? Anyway, oh, I'm so, surprised they're letting you represent yourself. Like it's a constitutional thanks. right. You can't it can't be denied it. Oh, but this is a big case. Are you sure you're ready for this? Yeah. A very logical response. 
this is a big case. And if you are truly schizophrenic, and that's what the narrative was at this point in time. If you were diagnosed schizophrenic, girl, I don't think you are in sound mind to be able to represent yourself. And so she probably figured out real quickly, oh, I can't claim insanity and represent myself at the same time. Hi, Hazel Eyes. Oh, thank you so much, Rope Scale, for joining. We're happy to have you here. Thank you. Oof. Are you ready for this, Leticia? This is a massive case. I got it. All right. Yep. I, I got it. it. I, I hope you do. I just... Like, it's a constitutional right. right. You can't, it can't be denied it. No, but this is a big case. Are you sure you're ready for this? I got it. All right. Yep. I got it. I, I hope you do. I just I know Harley's worried, so I worry about her, you know. She doesn't Oh yeah, Harley would be worried. But again, it's indicative that Harley is very much communicating this to family, right? I don't know. I'm worried about my mom. When I talk to her, she talks about there's a chip inside of her that she needs to cut out. It's controlling her mind and her body. It's all over the news, Letitia. But have you spoken once to your child about it? No, you haven't. She's just as much in the dark as we all were. All right. Yep. I got it. I, I hope you do. I just I know Harley's worried, so I worry about her, you know. She doesn't need to worry. I got it. <laughs> well, you're her mom. She's going to worry about you. So. Well... She needs to put her, the Bible tells her not to have anxiety, cast her worries on him. And that's, that's what she needs to do because yeah. he's already handled it and it's under control. And I already got it because they can't. There's not a science that they can ring or expert that can, that can discredit yeah. two pieces of my evidence. Um, what pieces of evidence was that? There ain't no expert or witness that can discredit what I've got. Drop your Dr. Dorothy Lewis's in the chat because you're all members here. Who'd you have as your witness? Who'd you have as your witness? You had a total of two witnesses, Miss Ma'am. One, that was not favorable for you. They just called her to document that you went to a doctor for anxiety once. And two, you had Dr. fucking Dorothy Lewis. We all know how that went. So whatever happened to this bombshell evidence, Letitia, which this is what I'm talking about, guys. She knows she doesn't have it. So where in her mind does she think this is going to work out for me? That's the part I don't get. And boom. Yeah, is. that's what, like, someone messaged me and they're like, your friend said she has two pieces of evidence. I'm like, yeah, she told me that too. I'm like, what do you expect me to do? Tell you what it is? I don't know. Yep. Well, see, the I'll reason I'm worried about Angel because Angel has the other, Angel has the only other copy. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah. you know, she's held on to it for this whole time for a year and she hasn't, you know, done anything out in a second or two. But see, somebody big time involved in Edgar got, uh, got arrested four days ago and I just found out about it. And I called somebody to have them look it up. And sure enough, it made national news. And I said, oh, shit. So Angel, part of El Chapo, has the other copy. And they didn't do shit with it for a year. But then I found out someone else big time got arrested. And I'm like, oh, shit. As if it has any, like, honestly, what do you think the cartel would want with Gannon? Like, what was an arrest? How does this correlate to you, Letitia? But I had her Google Angel's uh, name, too, and it didn't come up. 
I was like, okay, well, she's not arrested, so I'm not worried about her, like, them having her phone. <laughs> Which she supposedly got okay. rid of it, but I was just worried about, because I'm sure the FBI took everything from. Okay, so the lady I had her look up was Chapo's wife, because Chapo, Edgar is part of Chapo's clan. And so, uh, so I had her look up the wife, because I heard the wife got arrested, and, and I didn't know where, and she found it, but I had to check. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> What does this have to... I wish the cartel turns around and decides they're going to hold her accountable. Okay? Laughably ridiculous, Alina. But again, it's not just her spewing the bullshit. It's her actually making moves in her legal case as if this was legit. That's the part that it blows my mind. Because she knows it's not. She knows it's not. This isn't a mental illness. She's making the choice. And no, I'm not a doctor. But she. this is a personality, a, a, a behavioral issue. I, I don't... Oh, my, my head hurts. As apparently... See, I don't... They took the newspapers from us. We don't have newspapers anymore. So I didn't, I didn't know anything. But see, but if you're not representing yourself, you need all that stuff. Like they can't, that's what I'm thinking. Like, you know, how like you said, they don't even give you talks. Like they can't do that. If you are going to be your own attorney, yeah, they need to provide you counsel, the tools that you need. Yeah. If you, you, that's why you get an advisory council. The advisory council can bring the laptop to you and you could sit with them. Okay. They'll bring it in and they'll sit with you and let you, you know, whatever. They're there to talk mm -hmm. to you, to like to do whatever they can actually come in okay because they don't work for the right, public defender's office. they don't they don't work for the public defender's office the public defender's office is the one they don't plan on coming in this facility till summer when everybody's vaccinated but then they made a new rule now they're not coming until all inmates are vaccinated which are going to be last in america <laughs> so if there's if there's yeah in then, south carolina us teachers aren't even on the list that's what I'm saying. So in like, Ohio, all the teachers already got it. And like, here's the thing, you know. And I wanted to say this, but I wasn't going to be disrespectful to the judge. But like, the thing is, they they want to throw out, well, you know, this is going to be this, 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 and this. But they're not going to say, oh, well, you know, we we changed the constitution for this, but we're not going to change it for holding you guys during COVID. But we'll. Her and her constitutions. There was a pandemic. Everything changed, not just for you guys, but you are not being held because of COVID. You're being held because you're awaiting trial after murdering a precious, beautiful boy. Has nothing to do with your constitutions. We'll change it way speedy. You see what I'm saying? So they change it. Yeah, I, I know. I've said that it. many times. Yeah, Supreme Court changes it for th for what they want to, but they don't change it to help any any of us. So we're supposed to buy a lot of rules, mm -hmm. that, and that was the thing. But I yep. wasn't going to say that to him because I wasn't going to disrespect my judge. You know what I mean? No, I'm not going to disrespect Judge Werner. I'm just going to flip the middle finger during trial, laugh when Gannon's autopsy photos come off, right? Come on. And... uh to the point where he needs to threaten to chain you to the table. He took away your swivel chair. I, everybody remember that? He took away your swivel chair. <laughs> I love Judge Werner. He took away your damn swivel. Now you may no longer swivel, okay? He moved you to between your attorneys, and he said every defendant has the right to be dressed in actual clothes and have the jury not see them chained. He said, though, if you continue, I will have you chained under the table where the jury will not see it, but you won't be able to pull your shenanigans. Disrespect the judge. So, yeah, and I just told him, I, just, I told him, I said, sir. I mean, he, he talked, he tried to talk you out of it. It's being like. Yeah, they're supposed to do that. Yeah, but see, the 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 lady beside me, she already knew what was going on, and they already knew like 
why I was adamant about it. And they already knew what's going on, like what's about to happen in a few weeks. No. So like they already knew. So is Katie gone now? That's it? Yeah. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. So they're yeah. gone. Katie, Patrick, all of them are yeah. gone. Yeah. The entire legal team that has been working on her case since she's been arrested and we're about to hit one year. She's a couple of days away from hitting one year at this point. They're gone. All of the people her family has been in communication with, out. I can imagine how nerve-wracking this was for her family, not understanding it, okay? She's trying to sue Judge Werner. Judge Werner was such an amazing judge. He really was kudos to Judge Werner. He was very fair. But he was not allowing any funny business. He was a very fair judge, though. But they'll give me everything that they've done. Yep. They'll give you, all right, but they can't share anything with other people, right? Yeah, no, they're, they're still bound by the same, you know, like, they can't go out and be like, oh, well, you know, I was doing this. And plus, two, they wouldn't do that anyway. Mm-hmm. You know. But I, you know, were you, were you watching nervous for you, Tisha? Because it's a big no. I was at school. Oh, you're at school. And then well, now you know. I'm out now for my birthday. So. I know it was your birthday. I was going to tell you happy birthday too. Oh, uh, were you? Yeah, were you going to say happy birthday? No. Since you've gotten on this call, it has not been anything legit about progress in your court case. It has been about the El Chapo. They know. I know what I'm doing. I'm smarter than everybody else. Hardy har. Car. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. I was going to say happy birthday to you, too. No, you weren't. Yeah. I'm out right now for my birthday. Like, I'm not. Oh. She's out well, right birthday. now. <laughs> Hope you're having fun. Are you having your party tonight? Yeah. Or Harley already told me. What? No, it was tonight. Like, I went to the oh. barrel, like a place where you take your dogs and stuff. I took her anyway. Oh, yeah. But. Coco, Alyssa's dog's in heat, so Coco couldn't go. And that's like her best friend because she lives with her. And Coco right. and Remy, my dog just seems so sad today without her. Aww. Like she just seems to be like she didn't even want to go play with the other dogs. Like she missed her best friend. She's and missing her. Sorry, yeah. baby. Aww. And I'm like, I'm sorry, we can't bring Coco because the male dogs will attack her. I can't bring her. Uh, and she's and, not sick. Yeah. So then Alyssa was like, I'll take her home early. So Alyssa took her home early. So then my yeah. other friends are like, you can't go home yet. It's your birthday. And I'm like, but I'm tired. Like, <laughs> you know me. I'm like, I don't care. Oh, you work today, though. That's why. I did. I, I get up yeah. for school. Yeah. Well, I hope yeah. you're having a fun birthday. Yeah. I wish I could be there with you. Good. No. you know. I know. We would have so much fun. I drink we just went to a little party. bar that has like, um, <laughs> you, you drink all the water. <laughs> Has ski ball and all like darts and all this shit. Like you would be able to be here like fucking ski ball competition now. Well, Go. Then I tell some people get off the poker table. <laughs> we would be beating each other's asses on this. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one time I was playing darts and I started doing one handed push ups. Because <laughs> uh, they were giving us tickle tequila shots. It was after a softball game. And I was Listen. yes, and I was like, dude, I can't even do two handed push ups. <laughs> And they called Harley to cook. They were like, Harley, your mom is here. She probably doesn't need to drive. She was supposed to go home at the ball game. Yes. I was like, yeah, oh, that, well, I was with you and Harley picked us up. Oh, so the only thing that I take from that, hi, KPM, is that another instance of Harley having to parent you. Harley, your mom shouldn't drink and drive. She's slashed, sloshed, whatever, and... Harley had a drive. That's great. And she ain't no way she's doing one-handed push-ups. Do we need it? I think we need it. How? <laughs> Let's see how coordinated Tisha is. Do you think Tisha did any one-handed fucking push-ups? I don't have any fancy clothes. You go to my closet, you take whatever you need. You okay. Brennan. You guys got to look sharp. It's the most important day of our lives, okay? Okay, Dad. What's your name? What's your name? What's your age? What's your age? Where you from? Where you from? What's your son? What's your son? Who you love? Who you love? What's your style? What's your style? 
What you do? What you try? Stop, drop, and roll. Do that. Do it like a pro. Do that. Stop, drop, and roll. Do that. Do it like a pro. Do that. Hit top, rolly, boy, we know you phony. Take her to the mall and buy it what she wanted. Already smashed, so I'ma let the homie. RP my cash and RP a Kobe. If you're born in September, then you know you're my type. If I see you on Tinder, then I gotta swipe right. If you're born in October, then you're just like me. Here's a resume. Can you fill this out, please? What's your name? What's your age? Where you from? What's your sign? Who you love? What's your style? What you do? What you drive? Stop, drop, and roll. Do that. Do it like a pro. Do that. Stop, drop, and roll. Do that. Do it like a pro. Do that. So what's the fucking likelihood that she stopped, dropped, and did a one-handed push-up? For real. The Harley's making it seem like you ever see old school, like, you're my boy, Blue. Like, she's doing keg stand upside down. Like, she's just coordinated as shit. Come on, Tisha. We know. We know how you move, all right? And it ain't no one-handed fucking push-up. Well, this is embarrassing. Our 15 year old picking us up. I know. Oh, we're least, good. I know. <laughs> Great parenting right here. Good times, good times. Hey, that's what we always waited for. <laughs> I know. Your I like, we man, said, I need we another kid to turn 15 for me. Hi, yeah, we Nina. Said example, make sure you always have a driver. Hey, she's a good kid, man. Charlie's a good kid. Yeah, I tried to call her. I couldn't get her. I don't her. know. I know she's going to be confused about all this, but hopefully she understands it in the long run. Yeah. Why? Because you. No. And hello, Rena. I don't care if you can't stay. Thank you so much uh, for stopping by. So, <laughs> no. As as horrible as it is, Harley's not going to understand it in the long run. Well, you know what? I take that back. I do take that back. Harley will understand it in the long run, but not in the sense that you just said it. Not in the sense that you just said it. Again, Letitia has more than one victim, Gannon being absolutely the, the number one victim in this scenario, but she has victims of manipulation, victims of abuse, victims of the narcissism that she puts forward, and Harley is a victim of hers. I may not agree with everything with Harley, but Harley is a victim of hers, and she is the product of who raised her up until now. And I, I wish her the best and I hope she thrives. But Harley will figure it out. But for you to condone what Letitia's doing and act like, yeah, Harley, no. Her mom never speaks to her about anything. It's been going on one year now since her mother was arrested for her brother's murder. And has Letitia had one real authentic conversation with Harley? No, she has not. She has not. There, every, Ali, Benny, everyone is amazing, Grandma Cece. And I think we all bring a little something different to each. And I think that's what makes it awesome is that we're all different and we all bring a different perspective and stuff. They're amazing. I love them. He's about today. Yeah, I don't think she knew you were going to do that. She knew? She didn't. No, I don't oh, she think she knew you were oh, going I don't, to. I don't tell her just stuff like that. No, you don't. That, listen, you know, that's what I'm saying. So you, you, you caught her off guard. So. Read between the lines. There is more to it than you're seeing. Just, just. Bitch, there are no lines. This is a circle. This is a circle. How do you want Harley or anybody to read through the lines? Like, listen to that. Harley did not. Hi, Mandy girl. Harley did not even know her mother was dropping the attorneys. She had to find out from the news, from everybody else. That's heartbreaking. I'm sure she was scared and confused and, and 
she's watching all of these things happen yet when she speaks to you none of it's mentioned it's the weather it's the dogs it's there's a chip being implanted controlling my mind and body that is horrible to do to her but you can't read between the lines girl you're dealing with a circle here Between the lines, there is more to it than you're seeing. Just, just wait for it. I know that my mom, my mom has said that from day one. My mom has said Tisha is one of the smartest people I know, and that, and she's like, I know that she has this under control. My mom. I'm sorry. Tisha is one of the smartest people that you know. Any objection? All objections. All objections. Tisha does not have a 180 IQ. She is not smarter than Einstein. Amping her up like this is only inflating her ego, which leads to her making worse choices. Don't do it. People I know, and that, and she's like, I know that she has this under control. Like my mom has like 100% confidence in you. Yeah. Like I'd just knows it. from talking to you, from meeting you, that she knows you know what you're doing. But and when I'm it's your own work. kid, you know, they're worried about you. you yeah, know? and but that's the thing is I can't call her in private and talk to her about it, you know, because I'm not going to do any of that. And so, like, you know, just let her know, hey, I got this. There, there's there's something good coming next. I know. And then I'm not, and that's why I told her, but she, you're her mom. She's going to worry about you. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know she is. Mm. But people are going to make it worse than what they – you know, they're going to do whatever they have to do for the media, you know, and that type of thing. That's, huh? totally okay. yeah. That's really um, minimizing and insulting. And I will say, yes, the media uh, a lot of times will sensationalize things. Yes, I won't disagree with that. But there was no sensationalizing with Letitia. This was sensational on all on its own. Like, Nobody needs to make up anything when it comes to Letitia, okay? It was one thing after another, after another, after another, after another. But that's minimizing because what you did to, what you did to Gannon. Don't minimize it more than you have. This was not blown out bigger than what it was. This was all you. I don't think she really follows. She's not really following the media. And stuff. Like she does her own like videos and stuff, but she doesn't really seem to follow what people are saying. Yeah. She Who gave up on you, all uh, that. She got rid of all those people. Who texted you and told you about the two things? You said your friend? The that Spencer person must put it in his Twitter. Oh, I thought you said you, someone messaged you. We, someone messaged me, but it was in that Spencer's Twitter or something, like how, oh. how and Spencer have these Twitter. And I guess they posted it in their things. And so Colleen Powell yeah, messaged Colleen, me yeah. and was like, and she was like, this is what it said, and I was like, I was like, I don't know. And she's she like, did she tell you? I'm like, no. I'm like, I mean, I know Tisha told me she has evidence, and like, but I don't know what it is or anything like that. Um, and she's like, well, and then she just said, I hope she knows what she's doing. And I was like, yeah, me too. <laughs> yes, I got it. It'll be, uh, it's it'll be a big um, deal. Uh, in the future. There'll be some help in here shortly. And then I got to find it. Any help you can get. All right. Okay. I told my mom, when mom told me, and I was like, mom, and my mom was like, it's Tisha. I'm sure she has a plan. I'm like, yeah, she's smart. She's got a plan. Yeah. She's smart. She's got a plan. There's threats in my peanut butter. I've measured the window, guys. Take the broomstick. I No, really, we can fit. Okay, my my grandfather left me a lot of money to use her as a lawyer. I will give it to you. Okay, we're gonna break out this window in this cell. Really, she was really smart though, right? She's got a plan. Mm, okay. And I mean, if it was like one of those situations where I could go, and I made sure when I said two, 
because I like I knew people knew the, knew something about the one, but I made sure when I said two that I turned around and looked dead at somebody specifically, let him know I got the second one because Angel gave it to me. Like Al. Mm-hmm. And I said two. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm wondering if that does anybody remember what she specifically was referring to with two in that hearing? So you in court looked Al dead in the eyes while implying he was involved in his son's murder. You can't get worse than this, guys. I'm sorry. There's horrific murders happen every day, unfortunately. But I've never seen someone do this. I really think freaking have it. Oh, okay. The iCloud. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So you look out then the eyes in your court hearing and you mentioned a second iCloud that doesn't exist. Hi, Linda. Doesn't exist. But you, within this iCloud, you keep acting and saying that you have evidence towards Al's involvement. That like, I've never seen someone do this. I really haven't. And it's the worst form, form of torture. It's it's what she put them through, continues to put them through. Indescribable, unlike anything I've ever seen. Landon, hates him. Landon is like hating him so much. I haven't too. seen her on there online. Is she okay? I mean, yeah. I mean, she said I mean, that. You know what I mean? Like with the... I'm not, I'm not saying okay. She's not going to be okay. I'm saying, like, I hadn't seen her. She's not a, Yeah. She said she's having a hard time with it all, but she, um, uh, this week she, I bought, like, that, remember I told you about the butterfly locket? Yeah. And I sent it to her. So she put a little bit of Gannon's ashes in it. Yeah. And she gave it to Dee Dee yesterday. And Dee Dee's going to give it to Harley. She wanted to give it to Harley herself, but she wasn't ready to do that yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, I don't, she, I don't. She... Makes me want to cry. Do you know what strength that takes? Do you know how much strength that takes? I don't think any of us could really grasp um, for Landon to even share a little bit of her son with Harley. For Landon to not hold Harley accountable, despite a lot of the world thinking she had involvement at this point. She's stronger than I would have been. Because I don't see myself, I don't think I'd be able to. Not at this point, not at this point at time, I, but to lose your son like that not have the answers she hardly bought the cleaning supplies unknowingly yes but still i take it as a huge factor travel across country a lot of people think carly had involvement but lannon was strong enough to still share a piece of gannon mm. so I don't think I'd be able to either. I really don't. That's what I'm saying. The strength that this takes, I admire Landon. I really do. Um, and I give her, I give her and Al both a lot of credit. You know, despite certain feelings I have with Al, nobody deserves what either of them went through. Um, but that took, honestly, the strength of a mother. It's It's incredible incredible but i respect her a lot for even being able to do this at this point in time to i would because i could imagine at that point i would want to keep his remains as close and in my mind protected so to even share a piece and give a piece of him out that close to his murderer uh i would really struggle with i could imagine She doesn't blame Harley. She has not. She has nothing against Harley. She's just. She's just having a hard time as far as everything. So well, notice the difference she gave it to Dee Dee. People having a hard time and not. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I'm saying like, you know. And but Al's just, Al's living his life. Al's that's what I'm saying. playing house with a whole new family. There and you go. That's what I'm telling you. He's not even with Heather anymore. He has a whole new family. He's You have one minute remaining. He has one. And I don't, why nobody, why does nobody see that? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Look at it. I hope she sees it. No, now, she does. Listen. Now, listen. I may not personally agree with how Al may have chosen to move on so quickly and, and had a new family, but guess what? It's not my place to judge. It really isn't my place to judge. But even so, it does not take away from what you've done. You are guilty, not Al. So I, I may not agree and I could like try to rationalize in my head why he might have made certain choices but again it's not my place to do that he still isn't the one who harmed Gannon that was you so whether he moves on whether he gallops into the forest with a new wife and kids it does not at all lessen what you have done That's what I'm saying. Look at it. I hope she sees it. No, she does. She's she's the one that told me. He's not even with the other girl. I'm like, wait, what? Not with Heather? She went and she went and met Dee Dee. Yeah, she met Dee Dee to give it to Dee Dee. So Dee Dee has it to give to Harley. And I don't know how Harley is going to react to it. Hopefully she's happy. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't want to upset Harley. So. Yeah. Yeah, you should probably wait yeah. a little bit. All right, well, we only got like two minutes. Okay, but... all right. Well, have a good rest of your birthday, okay? You should probably wait. Do you see how she just said that? You should probably wait a little bit. No, I can imagine, yeah, it would be emotional for Harley. Confusing. Because at this point, she doesn't know what happened. At this point, she doesn't know what's what. Hi, Carrie. Thanks. Call me tomorrow. Right. Love you. All right. Tell, tell mom bye. to love you. Bye. No link. Okay. It makes you mad. It makes you so mad. So then she calls, no, the next day. So the day after court. Now, keep in mind, Aunt Brenda's recovering from surgery. She's been in a very vulnerable situation. The last we heard... She was struggling to even clean herself off, but she did get one of the drains removed and she had one of them still in. She shared with Letitia that it was not a tummy tuck. She had cancer. And Letitia's like, why didn't you tell any of us? She's like, because it's nobody's business. And then what did Letitia do? She literally hung up, called the YouTuber and said, you know, my aunt, yeah, she has cancer as a sympathy ploy. So this is the day, next day, the day after court, she calls Aunt Brenda at 10.43 a.m. Hello? Hey, baby. I was seeing if you were doing any better. I just thought you were trying to wash myself. Mm. You had a hard time. I got in the shower and sat in the chair and I tried to clean myself. I started thinking so bad. Well, how long did they say it would take, like, for a recovery? Four to six weeks. Oh, gosh. Hmm. I asked Carly the other day. She came and got her car. Mm -hmm. I asked her when she got off, which I don't, I don't expect her to. Wait. She came and got her car? Wait. I asked her when she got off, which I don't, I don't expect her to. Mm -hmm. I asked her when, hmm. I asked Carly the other day, she came and got her car. So she came and got her car. After all of this, after all of that, you didn't help? Which, again, I, I hold Letitia accountable because she is the one who fueled the issues between them. 
Yes, would it have been nice for Harley to still on her own go and help Aunt Brenda? Sure. But I do put myself in the mentality of like when I just turned 18 and I wasn't thinking the best, you know, like, and so if my mom was talking shit about the person, I was talking shit about the person. And if I was angry because I didn't get my car, I'd be angry, you know, like, so it's really on Letitia because she should have been like, Arlie, she's the one who's paying for all the bills. You need to go help her. You know, you need to put your shit aside and go help her. She's family. But she came to pick up the car, so that's nice. I asked her when she got off, which I don't I don't expect her to. I don't I don't I don't expect her to. I thought maybe if she got off a day she could come here at the house and she'll come, come. Help me for a day. I'll make sure of it. That's really sad. And again, I don't care if for some reason the cancer isn't true and it was just a tummy tuck. I do not care. She is an older woman who is fully financially taking care of you and your child, who is in a very vulnerable position, lives on her own, and she has feces on her, which is a serious serious risk of a severe infection that can be fatal. So I don't give a crap if it was elective or not with what she has done for you and your child. You absolutely should have been encouraging Harley to come and help take care of her. She needed the help. Welcome, Michelle. Thank you so much for becoming a member. We're happy to have you here with us. Yeah, she should have helped. But instead, Letitia and Harley were talking crap with one another. She come and watch me this morning. She didn't never show. She went ahead and tried to do it myself. Oh, yeah. She takes a lot out of me. I fixed me some breakfast this morning. I ate me some grits. Oh, God. I wish I was there to help you, Aunt Brenda. No, you know what you can do? When you speak to Harley, don't talk shit and fuel arguments between them. You are the cause of a lot of their issues. No older person in a vulnerable state should be struggling like that. Why didn't you step up and encourage Harley to go and help instead of talking crap about her. Nobody deserves to be on their own struggling to even bathe themselves. I do not like that. I'm not worried about it. I know, don't say that. I'm just telling you that I wish I was. I know you do. Stephanie called me the other day and said she was coming, but she never showed. I don't have any dependence on nobody, Tisha Lynn. I don't depend on nobody but Brenda. That's really sad. I'm marked that. Yeah. I don't even depend on your mama. Now keep in mind, when Letitia was talking to Amy Bolton, I think last she said, the only two people that I want you to talk about me, like the only two people I care about are you and Miss Dee Dee. I think it was Miss Dee Dee. It wasn't Aunt Brenda. So this is all a performance. She does not care. But if it was not for Aunt Brenda, you would not have a roof over your child's head, food in her stomach, a car, everything. Thank goodness for Aunt Brenda in your situation. I feel you on that one. <laughs> I know. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Me either. I, I don't. Seriously. I know. I don't. All right, she well, stayed I'm... right down the road from me. She had a bit more call me and I called take her to see how she's doing. She ain't a bit more... Nothing, Brenda. Don't even go there. 
in Britain, I'm our own child and she ain't telling me. So, you know what I mean? So, I mean, that just tells you, like, you know, I'm not being, like, sarcastic about that. I'm just saying, I'm our own child, her own flesh and blood. Like, she had me and she does me the same way. So, it's like, there's no point of even, like, you know, even saying it, worrying about it, because I had to get over that so long ago. You but know? you know what? I can't believe it. And she she turned all you younger. She tried to turn all of y'all against me. Oh, you mean like Letitia is doing between Harley and you? That's literally what Letitia is doing between Harley and everyone. So I can't tell you how Letitia's mom was to her. I don't know. But then it's repeated behavior of what you're saying is true. I wish Aunt Brenda listened to these calls and saw in real time. Well, I know that Aunt Brenda is not perfect. She's not perfect. Um, and she causes a lot of issues, but at least between Harley and Letitia, Letitia caused double the issues that didn't need to be there. And if you are the reason my child has a roof over, like that, that's what I care about the most. If you are taking care of my child and securing them and making sure they're okay while I am sitting in jail, I'm going to make sure that that's reciprocated in a way it could be. You know what I mean? So looking hindsight, hell yeah, Aunt Brenda was cause of a lot of issues. But you're listening to Letitia bounce back and forth between them, relaying inaccurate information, getting them hyped up. I don't even hold Harley accountable because, again, at 18, you're not thinking the, you know, the best that you can be. Your brain isn't even fully functioned yet. But you have your mom hyping you up. You're getting mad because you don't have the car. And so I could see her following her mom's lead. If her mom's talking crap and telling her not to do anything, then she's not going to do anything. But shame on Letitia. Because in my opinion, it's an all or nothing thing. You either, you know what? Aunt Brenda is manipulative. I don't like Aunt Brenda. So cut her off. But you can't take money every month to that extent and not a little bit of money a lot of money have her pay all the bills and then not do something like this it's either shit or get off the pot you can't just be in it when you want take 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 and never give anything back you know what i had learning brenda what i figured that out was it took me you a know what you you, you i know, know you know I'm, well as i do I'm green. I'm trying to tell you what it is. What it is, is I agree with you. What it is, is she, and I'm not trying to bad mouth her mom. I'll tell her this to her face. Okay. She has done us so wrong. Let us live like that growing up when we shouldn't have been all that stuff. And then of course she'd rather project that on somebody else. You know what I mean? Like the blame to somebody else when the blame was not on you or anyone else, ah, the blame was on her. Ah, coming from Letitia Stout, she likes to blame everybody else when the blame is on her. Honey, this is called projection. You are projecting yourself onto others. Now, whether your mom tends to do that or not, I can't say, but not to the extent of murdering her stepchild. That's you. Y'all tried to come and get us several times. Y'all come to the beach to get us. You know what I mean? Like all that stuff. But then she projects it on everybody else. Well, yeah. And, so. and I mean, Dakota, is, you, Dakota despises me. And I've never done nothing to Dakota. Yeah. But Deborah thought that implanted in him that I'm the bad guy. I know, Aunt Brenda. And you can't change his mindset because he's the boy and that's her favorite. And he's he's going to do anything she says. That's just, you know what I mean? 
I had to learn that too a long time ago. This is all these lessons I had to learn. This is my own flesh and blood people, like my brother, my sisters, and my mom. And I had to learn that that was just, just to let Poor it go. Poor Tisha. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I'd worry myself too much about it. I had to just let it go. That's why I just did my own thing, made new friends in a new town, and had new family. Because my mom weren't going to be there, my sister, my brother, none of them. So. Poor Tisha. Well, Harley put $100 on your account for me. Uh, well, I don't have it yet. How about a thank you? My goodness. Well, I don't have it yet. Didn't hit my account yet. Not even a thank you. She just put money on your account a couple of days ago when you last spoke to her. And she was supposed to have done it yesterday. Okay, it might take a little, it might <clears throat> take some time to go through. Now, you make sure you get that $100 because I told Harley to do it. Yeah. And I you, gave Harley $300. Yes, yes I, I, yes, I did. And then yeah. I gave her $300 so she would have some money. Yeah. And I told her to take that car and get it serviced. So that's what I mean. If you could go and pick up the car and you could go and take, 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 then you give back too. But you can't take, 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 and then talk shit and not. You know what I mean? Come on. Now, Harley told me that she's staying in that apartment where she's at now. Uh-huh. And I asked her how she's staying in it because she said that they're not going to put nobody else in there with her. Yeah. Harley is so darn secret to me. She don't want to tell me nothing, Tisha Lynn. That's what. Why is that? Why doesn't Harley want to say anything to you, Aunt Brenda? Because her mom tells her not to. Her mom tells her not to. And you can be a little much, granted, on your own. But how how many problems could have been prevented if it wasn't for Letitia between Aunt Brenda and Harley? You think she's always doing something wrong, but that's because Letitia is fueling that. But that's what was told to me too. That's and, uh, and I'm trying to figure out why she's in an apartment with three extra rooms, and they're telling her. They're not going to let nobody else move in that apartment with her. No, I don't. I didn't. I thought it was going to be the. So what the lady told her that day at work, the the lady at, that she was doing the marketing with, she said that they had a, a the unit. What they were going to do is that unit that they used for like people who did marketing and like all that stuff. They were going to clean that unit out, and they weren't going to put anybody in that unit. And so then they, the extra rooms that would be in that unit, because it's like an older unit, like a show unit, uh, she said the extra rooms that be in that unit, they wouldn't put anybody in there, but she couldn't, uh, you know, she can't rent them out to people because that she'd get in trouble. But that's what the lady was telling her that day I was on the phone with her because I told her to, mm -hmm. you know, I asked her to get it in writing. Harley's still in that old apartment that she was in, 190, whatever it is, A, B, I can't remember. Yeah, I know she was in the, in, and I know she's she in there with the dog. That is not a show apartment. No, ain't really not that one. The one that's right there at the front. That's the one that the lady said she could move into. Move what to Harley? There's one right there at the front that she, the lady said she. I could know, move but in. I'm saying is she moving Harley to that one? Yeah, she said she could move Harley to that one because Harley that said she weren't. Harley told me the other day she weren't moving. She was staying in the apartment where she was at. Oh Jesus! This is. <laughs> How many times have, like, it's just crazy listening to the all the conversations from Harley to Letitia and Brenda and how it gets relayed. But again, a huge part of the miscommunication is Letitia because she calls, watch, when she calls Harley next, watch how she flips it around. Oh, well, then maybe the lady told her to stand up. And I said, that. Harley, that's a three, that's a four room apartment and you only rent one room. There's no way they're going to let you rent one room and they got three other rooms they can rent. Yeah. 
Now, come on, Tish, man. You, you, you calculate that. They're not no, going to lose 1500 No, I, I understand that. But I'm saying, like, the lady told her that, so is the lady saying now she can't? Well, somebody's lying somewhere. Yeah, Letitia. I'm getting what well, I don't believe. I'm beginning to be honest with you. I'm beginning to not believe nothing Harley says. But I thought... That's really messed up. Now, I'm not saying Harley's perfect. Harley is like any other newly 18 year old but then also in very unusual circumstances but she has a mom who's talking shit about aunt brenda to her she has her mom hyping her up against aunt brenda so i'm sure her attitude isn't the best with aunt brenda and she is being um cautious with what she shares but again this is at tisha's direction But she's there, so I don't understand if she's there. What's I, I don't understand like what's wrong if she's actually still at the same apartment is like what's what's wrong? How how she how she paying rent? I she's know only how responsible for one one roommate, but she's only responsible. I know, I know, I know all that. I know all that. But I also told Harley, Harley, you got your car, you get a job, you don't have to use Uber no more. You get a job. And this marketing stuff that you're doing for Miss Miss um what's her name? Charlotte or whatever, Mama. Yeah. I said, You get a job. I said, Because baby, you're gonna have to get a job because you're gonna have to start paying some money somewhere or another. See what you're not getting, Letitia, is Aunt Brenda has been saying for a while she can't continue to pay this. It's a lot of money every month, guys. Like she is hitting over a grand between Harley and Letitia, both all of the bills, the rent, the car payments, this, that it's a lot of money. She already expressed to Letitia. She can't continue to do this. That's why she was pro Harley moving in with Miss Amy, but Tisha, you're over here. Like, what's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? The problem is, is that you expect her to keep paying it. And then Harley comes back again, and I gave her tuition money for school when she first started and did her application. And I gave her all of her tuition money, and then she turns around and told me that yesterday she owed, she had to borrow $2,000 to get a loan for her tuition. Okay, so where did you get the tuition? Okay. So tell me when you get you gave her tuition money when because okay, I know you gave her the five thousand dollars when she then, when, she, when she did her application when she did her application mm -hmm. she had to turn in her tuition money okay and when she did her application and she told me how much it was she got her tuition check she got it from me okay so you paid got the, the money for that how much was that I can't remember but it was it was it was up there. Okay, I'll figure yeah, all this out. Her, I'm trying to get wait, the details. Wait. Harley, Harley is Harley. I don't believe I'm beginning to believe that Harley says. I don't. I'm beginning to believe that Harley says. And she come here at this house yesterday, Tisha Lynn. I was piercing to Harley. Why? What she had on. Yeah. No. 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 Now I'll stick up with you for some things, Aunt Brenda. But I will not stick up for you with this because now, granted, I don't know what Harley was wearing that specific day, but I could really, from what I've seen, we're not going to slut shame here. We're not going to fucking sit here and be like, mm, what you were wearing. I've never seen really Harley wearing anything that was like, ooh, you know, like, so cut it out. She goes to church every week. She, she always dressed more conservative to me. And I'm not saying going to church is synonymous with dressing that way. But, like, whatever she was wearing wasn't that. I do not believe it was that bad. But she, again, yeah, she's 18. She's living on her own for the first time. Let, let her enjoy herself. That's what we're not going to do. To say you were ashamed, those are some heavy words. Because you're ashamed of Harley, but you're not ashamed of Letitia. gal's pure cooter was showing when she bend over she don't need to be wearing days to do shorts her cooter was showing and 
Brenda. Aunt Brenda. Now, I believe she may have watched, she may have worn short shorts. That's the style. But was her cooter really showing? Did you really see the two of the er? I don't think so. And I mean, them shorts are showing everything. And I got on her about them, and I'm sorry. And she looked at me, she said, Mama wore them like this. I said, I've never seen Deborah with shorts on that, that Letitia Lynn with shorts on that short, Harley. Well, how often did you see Letitia? Because she sure as fuck was. Letitia dressed like Harley dressed because Letitia is in competition with Harley. Letitia associates herself as a young woman like Harley. I said, if you were standing inside of a pool, yeah, with a bathing suit on underneath it, yeah. But when you come out of town or going somewhere and you're not around a pool, you don't need to wear nothing like that out in public. All right, well, I'm going to find out about the, the tuition thing, and I'm going to find out about the apartment, and I'll call you back. Not today, but tomorrow. Mar and I told Harley, I said, if you want to be in marketing and, and do this other kind of professional stuff, Harley, you got to start dressing a little bit more professional than what you are. I said, do you know what you're asking for here, the way you're dressed now? No, 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 no. I do not like that. You are not... Nobody. Mm, 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 mm. Now, I may personally not choose to dress a certain way, but what we're not going to do is do the whole, well, you were dressed like that, so you were asking for it. Fuck no. People are allowed to dress. Women are allowed to dress however the fuck they want. You may personally not appeal to that type of style. But to even suggest that that's a justification makes, makes sense now why you are justifying Gannon's murder, right? He must have done something, right? He was asking for it the same way that if Harley was assaulted, well, you were asking for it. That's gross. That really is. It, but you all victim shame, don't you? Um, and she was at my house. I said, you're asking for somebody to rape you. <gasps> oh. Aunt Brenda. Aunt Brenda, why would you... I understand she she's old school and she has a different mentality, but really, really, now we're justifying shmape depending on what the woman is wearing. That's horrible, but it really does make sense, right? Because poor Tisha was put in a situation where she had to resort to murdering a child, right? It must have been something Gannon did or something Al did, right? That's really fucked up. Oh, I believe they do, Kelly P. I believe they do. But that's just, you. no, we're not going to victim shame or potential victim shame here. We are not going to do the, well, you were just like it, so you were at, nobody is asking to be shamed. That is horrible. Now, Tisha Lynn, you might think I'm old-fashioned, and I am old-fashioned, but there's they, a, a stopping point somewhere. Well, I'm a, I'm a, what I need to do is I need to be on the phone talking to you and her, because I need well, to find out. Not, she, 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 she's gonna, like I said, she said she got a check for $6,000. And she said it paid all her this and that. Well, 
crap. I paid for all her books. For, you know, her, you know, her online books and stuff. I wrote okay, her wait, a check. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so you gave her the tuition and you paid the books? Yeah, I paid all for all her books. Here or what? About a month, right before school started, I gave her all the money for her books. I knew that. I know that, Amber. I'm saying you gave her the books and the tuition? Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm trying to get straight so I, I can find out when I talk to her. I gave her the tuition when I did the application, when she first did her application. Okay. And then she, said she, then she said she had to have her books and all. And I said, well, how much are your books, Harley? Harley says, I don't know. I said, well, find out and let me know. So I went ahead and I sent her money for her books. Okay. So. And then she gets all this money here. The other day, and I don't know what she done with it. I don't know how she spent it. She didn't offer to give me none of it back. Not that I asked for it. You know what I'm saying? Well, and I will say, I could see both sides here. I could see the frustration with Aunt Brenda with how much she is dishing out. That if you got money back that you could have even offered to give something back but i could see harley's point of view of fuck man like i am i don't think she, i think she sees it in an 18 year old's mentality right like being left with nothing she's barely making ends meet we heard the way she screamed when she got that uh covid check right and i don't think she even thought twice about giving money back to aunt Brenda, you know because it's that young mentality of you're owed it type of thing. I don't know. Saying yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I'm gonna find out about it. Let me let me try to call. I don't, know what, I don't know what Harley's thinking. She's doing, but and then she did her income taxes, and I said, Harley, why would you do income taxes for 2020? And I'm the one that supported you the whole year 2020. Yeah, but she had to, or, or she wouldn't be an independent student. She'd lose independent student status if she wouldn't have. But I, know that I would for turn her as a dependent. Yeah, Aunt Brenda, but then she would have, wouldn't would have been independent student, which meant that she would have had to pay different tuition. She's independent student, so therefore she has a lower tuition rate. But if she's not an independent student, she has to pay a higher tuition. She doesn't have a kid. The, the reason I was an independent no, student... No, but I was going to carry her as a dependent, so I could have got some of my money back. But then you, but then you would have had to turn around and pay a higher tuition. Because she wouldn't have been an independent student. Actually, Aunt Brenda didn't need to turn around and pay anything because this isn't Aunt Brenda's fucking responsibility. Actually, Letitia, all this could have been fucking prevented if you didn't murder Gannon. But this isn't Aunt Brenda's... Whether I like Aunt Brenda or not, it's not her responsibility. You're draining her financially. Now, I know that's 100% fact because... I had to do it, but I could. I didn't have. To, Mom couldn't do me because I had Harley, so that was my independent student. But she don't have a kid, so she can't be an independent student without being an independent student. So the tuition would have been different. Well, anyway, so like I do I know said, that, but I'm gonna find out the other about the tuition because now you. Well, I wouldn't. I just asked her. Did she get her money and see what she done with it? I am, but I'm gonna ask her. Did you? I'm gonna say clearly. Did ain't bring to pay your tuition in the beginning? And I want to hear what the answer is. And then I'm going to ask her, did Aunt, Brenda, did Aunt Brenda pay your books? Which I knew she told me the books, but I didn't know. You have one minute remaining. I didn't Here I didn't me. know that you paid the tuition because I was under some that you only paid books. I paid the tuition when she did her application because she said she had to have it. Okay. You didn't know she paid the tuition? You didn't know she paid Harley's tuition? Seriously? And I know you knew about the books because I've heard them say it before. Hey, Lulu. Uh, hi, Catherine. It, Jesus. My head hurts. It really does. Okay, so that came out of your account, like a credit card? I mean, like your bank account? You can't, you can't or did you give her a check? Or I, I don't know. I don't want to worry about it. She, no, Amber, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get this straight. So I'm trying to ask I you know, to get out of your account. As long as the young and going to school, that's what I'm concerned about. I just want her to quit lying to me. That's what I'm trying to get help on. So, Get help on? Tisha, you're fueling it. You're fueling it because you're lying. 
Oh my God. Well, I wish Aunt Brenda would freaking listen to all of these. I really do, but she won't. Okay, I'm um, asking you, did it come out of your bank account? Like you saw it draft out of your account? I, I can't remember if it was drafted out or I sent her one of them. Or if he sent a check. Yeah, I can't remember. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to find out. So I'll get the story straight and I'm going to get the answer and I'll I'll get back with you in the next few days because she's going to tell the truth about the tuition and about all that. Yeah, and I might be confused. You know, I don't know that much about how that college stuff works. So I may be confused, too. She may be able to explain it to you why I can't. I don't know. Thank you for using Global Telling. Well, I guess let's see what happens. That's really what it comes down to. They're all lying. Now, listen, I think Ambretta does lie, and I think she twists and manipulates her. But what I do believe is she's dishing out this money. Like, let's be real. She is dishing out the money. And so... Like I said earlier, you can't be in and out. If she's manipulating and she's too much and she's pulling shit, Aunt Brenda, okay, I believe that. But then you can't be accepting $1,000 from her a month. Or if you're going to be accepting $1,000 a month, you need to accept that that comes with X, Y, and Z. And you need a, you need a show of some appreciation. But it can't be... I'm going to take all that money, but then I'm going to talk nonstop shit. You can't do both. You're in or you're out. Thank you, Elena. Elena just gifted another five memberships. Congratulations to our recipients. Please make sure to thank Elena in the chat. If you just got busted out from the other side, we're happy to have you here to attend Members Only Monday. Thank you so much, Elena. Um, yeah. And so I can understand the stress. I really can understand the stress with the money. You know, like, listen, it's a big expense. And yes, I get frustrated because it's like, you're not on Letitia. You're not on Letitia. She wasn't. She was at the retired age, but she's working. She's working. And she is sing like alone. And so I really, I don't know, I get frustrated because I know that she manipulates. I know she lies. I know she does it too. But she, I don't know. If my child was in a situation, and that's all I keep thinking about. If my child was in a situation where I now am gone and she's going to end up on the street. If there is someone who is providing her rent, her car, her food, her tuition, like, it makes me get tears. Like, I, I, I will deal with the manipulation. Thank you for taking care of my child when I couldn't. It's, it's that simple. But she makes every excuse in the books for Letitia. But that's why I may, I think it makes Letitia even more sick. Is that, yes, Aunt Brenda had her shit. But they didn't need to fight as much as they did. A lot of it was fueled by Letitia. Aunt Brenda is side-eyeing Harley majority because of shit Letitia is miscommunicating and misrelaying back and forth intentionally. So it didn't need to be as bad as it is. So this final call of February... is the next day, February 28th, at 6.36 p.m. So let's see then how she communicates to Harley about it. Hello? Hey. Hey. Can you hear me? I can't talk too loud. Listen, so this number, like, um, the number is going to beep in for you. Um, answer it, and then let it go all the way through the recording accept the call and then don't merge us over until they get on the call just like i fucking said her own mother is playing dirty i don't put it on harley even if i don't agree that harley did do x y and z no 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 this is what her own mother was showing her so now you have Harley doing something she isn't supposed to be doing. You're going to get a call. Let it ring. Beat me in. What is wrong with you? 
you could, you were willing to lose any communication with your child because if you got caught, she would have been taken off the list. Accept the call and then don't merge us over until they get on the call. Wait, huh? I'm, I'm trying to get someone else, so they're going to call your number. And when they, when they beep in, when they, how can I say it? You're going to click, you're going to merge the call in. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. When well, they try to call. Okay. Just merge the call in. Cause, cause so I'm going to have you do something you are now not allowed to do. Not allowed to do. Who are you giving your child's phone number to? Mm -hmm. Let the recording play all the way through and then merge it. Do you at all care about who you're fucking with and putting your child in the middle of? She's being very careful with her wording, Blue. Okay. Just merge the call in. Because when okay. it rings on your iPhone, it'll just say merge call, right? Yeah. And as long as they pay for it, you don't have to um, press any more buttons, right? I, I think so. Hey, what have you been up to? Nothing. Thank you, Carrie Beth. Carrie Beth says Brenda is another garbage garbage pail tea bag fangirl. Thank you so much. And yeah, unfortunately, I think she's a very lonely woman and uses her money to buy a relationship. Even if that relationship means with a child murderer. It's really sad. Yeah, stay free, Harley. I Again, there's a level of trust. This is what breaks my heart. There's a level of trust that's automatically there between a child and their parent. Your parent isn't going to guide you wrong, right? Your mom isn't going to tell you to do something you're not supposed to do. Yet, Letitia does. And so, imagine, like, I don't blame Harley because imagine if you never had another parent tell you this isn't right, this is wrong, right? Letitia's all she's ever known. Letitia's who raised her. So if she tells her to do something, she's just going to do it. But this is really why she keeps the relationship with Harley. Because Harley's the only one who's willing to do this type of stuff because she doesn't know better. Hey, what have you been up to? Nothing. Just was by the pool today. Ooh, it was that warm? You could be by the pool today? Ooh. Yeah, it was 79. 79 degrees today? Mm -hmm. uh, she was by the pool today. We were, we were by the pool yesterday, too. She was by the pool today and yesterday. 79. Dang, I, that's, that's a warm February, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I came to Charlotte's house because she always makes me dinner. Oh, it's nice of her. Oh, so you didn't tell mm -hmm. me that you were going to go get this car back after we talked about it and it was a no. Oh. Thank you so much, Amanda Peach, for being a member for a month. No wonder Harley didn't go in and check on Brenda. I wouldn't want to hear that BS either. Right. Like, I don't... I do not hold Harley accountable for certain things she may not have done because of all of the other litigating factors involved. Um, yes, escape. She does like to use the money. Well, yeah, it kind of just happened. It was kind of random. And then I've had to hear nothing but junk being told. So huh? tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to need you to do the same thing. I'm letting Brenda merge in because I need to talk to both y'all because I'm trying to explain to this woman because she's crazy. She swore something down that she gave you her, your tuition money when she did the application. 
No, she did not. And I tried to explain this to her. I said, hey, Brenda, there's no way possible. You wouldn't have known what kind of tuition it was. I said, because you didn't know if she was going to get the status or not. Did that happen? Thank you, Carrie Beth. Again, thank you so much for the super sticker. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that what she said to Aunt Brenda? Yeah, she's crazy. She's crazy. She never said that. So this is what I mean by you fueled so many issues that were not necessary. Thank you, Carrie. So many issues that were not fucking necessary. Because, you know, your daughter needed more relationships that crumbled. This is horrible. So selfish. She was like, yeah, I think that's what I was confused too because she, I told her, I told her, I was like, yeah, I didn't get whatever. She was like, I thought we paid for that. And I was like, we're well, not all of it. Like, as in like, we paid for the application fee. Yeah. And we paid like, uh, we paid like, uh, I needed to pay for like something to accept to go to the school and stuff. Like, yeah. that's it. That's all we paid. Yeah. Oh, hey, so now this girl said this. Okay, this girl said, you just answer the call waiting. You just answer the call. She said, answer the call, then let it go all the way through and get them on the line. Okay, okay, okay. The real reason that I, I wanted to speak to you is because of this. Please do, little rat. I would love to see that. Ooh, you think the call comes in and Harley doesn't pick it up? I don't blame her. Like, why would you do this? To the call. She said, answer the call, then let it go all the way through and get them on the line. I don't merge. I answer it, then I merge it? You don't merge it until the person gets on the line. Okay. If it happens to hang me up, then what I'll do is you just hold them on the line. And then I'll call back and you merge me in. Just tell me you're my daughter. Okay. Who is it? It's people that look out for me. They're not going to have my phone number, are they? Harley, just nobody you're definitely going to have to worry about. Trust me. How sad. How sad that your own child has to be, Mom, this isn't anybody that I have to be worried about, right? I don't, I don't, I don't want these people to have my phone number. Don't worry, honey. It's, it's nobody you have to be worried about. Actually, it's exactly who she has to be worried about, Letitia. Other criminals on a bad level, you're giving your child's phone number to and we know that you're not being honest with other criminals. God only knows what deal you're making. And then who would they use against you when the price isn't paid or you don't follow through with something? Your child. And thank you so much, Elena. You're so amazing. Thank you so much. Congratulations to our newest members. Please thank Elena if you just got busted out. Flush down the toilet pipes. We haven't done a flush in a while. Flush through the toilet pipes and uh, popped up on our members only. So thank you so much. Um, it, it, it's horrible. Right. It's just criminals and convicted felons. No big deal. No big deal. But we know how she lies. We know how she promises money. So if she messes with the wrong person, who do you think they're going to go for? Her child. That she is not a mother. A mother would never. It's people that look out for me. They're not going to have my phone number, are they? Harley, just nobody you're definitely going to have to worry about. Trust me. You think I would ever do that? Yeah. I'm just saying. I don't want to have my phone number. No, it's not going to be like that. Trust me. No. People that protect your mom. I don't know. How manipulative. Trust me, Harley. Trust me, Harley. It's people that protect your mom. So manipulative.
Yep, Duper's Delight. You hear that laughing in there. This is horrible because there is that trust. It's her mom. People that protect your mom. I don't know. I don't understand when I'm supposed to do my sister answer. Okay, when they call in. And then merge it or do, do yeah, like. Do it first. The merge. Listen, listen, answer it first and let them go on the line and just go, hold on, I'm going to try to merge in. Then do it that way. Mm -hmm. Let it. This poor kid. And no, you don't get gifted uh, Shelly Beans when you already have a membership, but they're. There's people, it's open to the public as far as viewing. So you could get gifted and then enter the chat because the chat is for members only. Um, this is Elena, best channel. Who can compare to MJ? The best. Thank you, Elena. No, we really do honestly have such an amazing community. I'm beyond blessed. Thank you so much. You guys are really what makes this community amazing. Um, Right, Angel D. Right about now, Harley is probably remembering the image of her mom running from the cops and leaving her behind. Because she did. Oh. I'm just going to hold on. I'm going to try to murder you. Then do it that way. Mm -hmm. Let it go through that recording and everything first. Then, if that don't work, stay on the line with them. Just say, hold on. If it hangs up, just say, hold on, mom's probably going to try to call back. It didn't work. I'll call back, and then you just do the merge instead of call waiting. You see what I'm saying? Okay. On the second time, just do the merge. On the first time, just do the call waiting. Anyway. How uncomfortable. So, Aunt Brenda was like, oh, these shorts that Harley had on. And I was like, what shorts? She see? You see? That's the type of stuff I'm talking about. She hypes Harley up. So that's why I do not hold Harley fully accountable because she's newly 18. Of course, she's going to have a little of an attitude. She doesn't, you know, her brain isn't fully uh, grown yet. It's not done growing. But her own mom's like, oh, let me tell you how Aunt Brenda's talking smack. Of course, then she's going to have an attitude. This is unnecessary. She thinks she's a kid. She thinks she's Harley's friend. You're not her friend. She said my butt was in yeah, My butt was in yeah, the, the shorts are longer than my butt. She kept on about that. She was just like, these daggone shorts. And I was just like, then she went on about, you were supposed to come help her shower and you, you didn't come. And I'm just like. No, I was not. She never <sighs> told me that. She said, well, Harley said that she would come one day and she would help you shower. I'm not helping nobody shower. <laughs> uh, she didn't say Harley was supposed to help her shower. It was Julie. But she did say Harley said she would come one day and help me make food. Get things situated. Anything she may need help with. But you laughing in response to that, that's your job to teach your child. It's who is providing a roof over your child's head. You are showing and teaching her disrespect. No appreciation. No value. That is family. You don't treat people that way especially who are doing what they are doing for you. But she's going to go by your lead. You're the mom. Would help you shower. I'm not helping nobody shower. <laughs> I thought you wanted to be a nurse with us. No, I don't want to be a nurse no more. <laughs> yeah, she told me that. I was like, oh, I don't know. And then she was like, she was telling me something about that. So I talked to her about the income tax thing, and I was like, hey, Brenda, she's right. You, she wouldn't have been an independent student, and then you would have really had to pay for the tuition. I've been trying to put money. She gave me, she gave me she money to put, put, 
she gave me money to put on your account, and I keep going to go put it on there, and it it just keeps saying system error occurred, not working, can't can't upload things. But I don't want I it on that. I want it on Access Creations on my actual account. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, I did it on Access Creations, and I'm just like, it was just like cannot be processed at this time. Oh my god, that's crazy. That is crazy. I've tried it like 15 times. Yeah. And I called those people today and I had to email them my ID, even though I already emailed them my ID. And they said they would fix it. So it should be done today. Hopefully, because I have to schedule them like 48 hours out. So I'll check it to see. Because I called them and they like, yeah, it should only take 10 minutes. And I was like, well, it's been waiting well, it's been like three weeks. <laughs> she just had major like, surgery, Cap Mater. Chance leaves this week, the ladies. Courtney, Courtney's mom's sister is already in here. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Yeah. 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 To let her out? Yeah, because she, she wants to go lay in my closet. She wants to go lay in my closet instead of in the cage because she has to be busy and have push. Well, that's sad. No dog should be in the cage that much, okay? If you have to utilize a cage for certain scenarios, okay. But a dog should not be in a cage all night and then when you're at school and work and no, no. And she wants to know where you're at, know, like your smell at least. I know. Well, after chance, I mean, it's gone and maybe, maybe you can just do that, you know? Yeah, I've been taking them on walks every day because it's warm outside. I'm a good, I'm a good dog mom when it's warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel you on that one, I know. Okay, Kelly, have a wonderful night. Because when it's just so cold, it's just like so miserable to be like, Ooh, you know? Yeah, they went on two walks today. Two walks, dang. They're just filling in the gaps. Uh, no one's called yet? No. No, no one's called? Well, let's see what else I have to tell you. So you got that handle about the video, so hopefully that'll be fixed. How about court that you just had two days ago? You want to talk to her about that? Let her know. You were already told by Amy that Harley's been stressing. You want to talk to her about that? Maybe fill her in? No? Okay. You didn't send me my, you didn't send me my lyrics. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, this week I need to send you a lyrics. I need to send you that paperwork. And? I still can't. I can't figure out the taxes. I tried for like two weeks. You, did you actually talk to someone? I don't. I don't know who to call. I try to call people, and they're like, "Sorry, I can't do anything because they won't ever give me like a representative." Hmm. So Miss Kitty said that she was gonna ask her tax lady. Maybe I should call her about tax. No, you've I already tried to talk to her. Huh? Yeah, well, I was gonna have to. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. 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 Yourself. You know, because that's what's more important, right? Not talking to your child. <sighs> yep. Anyway, so what do you got planned for the rest of the time? The next couple of days. 
Nothing to talk about. Or at least plan one day to like at least help him bring or something. Just if you can't help with the the mm-hmm. Martian stuff, I understand. Do some. I told her I would probably. I told her I would probably come see her on Sunday. I don't know though, cause we're about to start opening the office on Sunday then. But I told them that I can't work on Sundays cause it's a day of rest. Yeah. And I left them. Oh yeah. How long does it say we've been on the phone? Oh my god. How long is the call? 15 or 20? Um, 15. (laughs) No destination. Well, um, what's Sadie doing now? What's Sadie doing now? I'm not home, Mom. I'm in my way. That's all they ever talk about. Sorry. That's all they ever talk about. They have nothing. Nothing. Imagine not having anything to talk to your child about. And that's because the, she, like, mm, the most massive thing going on, it's being avoided at all costs. Okay. Oh, you be calling her Malay, Malay, Malay. Mm-hmm. At her apartment or her parents' house? Her apartment. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Nothing. So cringe. All right, well, I'm going to hang up and call you right back so we get the time to start over, okay? okay. All right, love you, bye. Okay, bye. But she didn't because that's the last call in February. Now, we could, you guys want to, you guys want to do another one? You want to do the first call in March? We could do one more. We could do. This one isn't long. It's the first call in March. Okay. Oh, this is a long month. Holy moly. Do, 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 do. Okay. Hey. Hey. Wait. I wasn't ready. Okay. So this is March 2021. The first call. That wasn't a fart. That was the cars going by, just to let you guys know. Okay. Uh, how's it going at work? Good. I just went around and took pictures. Okay. I was going to tell you what else St. Bridget was telling me, right? So this was like, yeah, she was like, just like, you know, like, if the, if the phone beeps in, do the same thing, right? Mm hmm. Okay. She was like, yeah, she was like, they're losing sixteen hundred dollars because of Harley. She's probably tried to pay sixteen hundred dollars. I was like, Harley's not stupid. She's not gonna pay sixteen hundred dollars for somewhere to live. She'd go get her. If she was gonna do that and be that dumb, she would just go get a place. Like that don't make any sense. Exactly. exactly. So I'm like trying to explain this to her. She's like, let me be real here. She's not gonna be doing that. Like she's she's paying it for these people. I was like, where? With what? And so then she was like, did you get your $100? And I was just, I mean, I couldn't lie. I'm like, uh, what $100? Because I didn't know the deal. No, that's not how it, oh my God, you see? And you, <laughs> farts and cars. I Listen, I just heard a burp. burp. <laughs> Could tell it was a car. <laughs> I just listen. I just wanted to clarify because there was one day where I ripped a paper towel on a live. And it sounds, I've learned 
it sounds identical to a fart. You guys want me to show you? Because I'll never rip another paper towel. Hold on. Okay, are you ready? Ready? Here it comes. Well, that one didn't sound really... Did that? Okay. All I know is I ripped a paper towel one day and I didn't clarify I was ripping a paper towel and people thought it was a fart. All right. So now I just need to clarify anytime I have anything that sounds somewhat to a fart that it was not a fart. I'll let you know if I do, but these are not farts. Okay. I'm just letting you know. And she was like, mm -hmm. he's probably using it to pay for these people. And I was like, what are you talking about? If you gave her $100 to give me, she'll do it. I don't know why she hasn't done it yet, but she'll do it. I know. I was going to call them today because it hasn't been working. So I figure I can just call and do it and they can charge my card. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's crazy. I can't deal with it. And then she was and then and, and I, w I wasn't even going to stand the four bedroom. I was going to move to a two bedroom. But now I'm just going to stay because Tono's not leaving. So why would I leave? Oh, yeah. So I asked her that. I said, Bill, I said, the people told her she could go to a two bedroom. You know what I mean? I said, so I don't, I don't, <laughs> what do you, I don't know what you're, what's wrong. I said, what is she doing wrong? She was like, she's still at 190. I was like. Well, I don't, but what is she doing wrong? I kept trying to figure out. <laughs> what is she doing wrong? Yet again, you can act this way. And I'm just cracking up at you guys. You can act this way if Aunt Brenda wasn't the one paying for everything. But unfortunately, Aunt Brenda has a right and has a say to be involved because she is fully financially taking care of it. So yeah, she, she gets to be involved because she is paying for this. I don't have a dog, Snapdragon. So if I blamed it on the dog, I would really be busted. Okay? It was the dog. But you don't have a dog. Shut up. And she was like, I was like, she's not going to, they're only going to make her pay for her part. So I'm just trying to figure out what she's doing wrong so I can talk to her. And she was like, well, and she turned it into something else. <laughs> and then she was like, and then she was like, and then now listen to this. She said she got six thousand dollars and didn't pay me back the tuition. And I was like, okay. First of all, I just talked no, to Ali. No, 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 no. So again, you see, she made it seem. You guys, I'll never stop talking. She made it seem like Aunt Brenda wanted her to pay her the six thousand dollar tuition. That's not what she said. She said she had gotten six thousand dollars back, and she didn't even offer to give her anything. Not that she wanted it or asked but she didn't even offer okay it was the point of it stop creating issues between these two tell me anything about that so unless it just happened and she was like and then she borrowed loans i said she shouldn't have had to borrow loans i don't know why she would have done that so they don't make any sense to me and she was like well she said, i paid all that tuition money she said it was a lot of money and she didn't come <laughs> She didn't give me any of my money back, but she was supposed to give me back for the tuition. <laughs> no, that's not. She never she paid for any of my tuition. I thought that. I mean, but you you didn't get any loans, did you? I did. Why? I only had to get like a thousand. Why, Letitia? Why? Because she didn't have the money for it. As you're talking shit about the woman who is securing your cop your daughter's education i'm sorry but like do you guys realize like how amazing it is that harley in the situation she was in out of the home that she's ever known literally traveling across the country in a van with her whole life in it her mom to get arrested and charged with her brother's murder for her to continue on and not even have a gap okay not even uh, taking a year to figure shit out and seeing where she lands, she continued on as if all of this didn't happen. It was miraculous that that happened. I'm, I'm thankful. It's probably what kept her on track. But to act like, why? Where's this money coming from?
thousand dollars loan. But why did they make you get any loans at all? You shouldn't need any loans. Because it wasn't fully covered. But that don't make any sense because your EFC was zero. You should have had a Pell Grant. A Pell Grant should yeah, have been thirty dollars. No, the Pell Grant was only thirty seven hundred. Yeah, thirty seven hundred. Mhm. Mm and then you said you got the COVID relief. Yes, which was they a didn't, thousand. So they didn't give you any knee base or anything. No, and then I got an extra. Then I got an extra five hundred, but that's all that I got. Remember, they waited so long, so I mean they didn't have a lot of funding and a lot of extra things they can do. So how much did the school cost? It was like sixty two hundred. For the school? For one semester? Yeah. Why? Oh my god, Tisha. Mm -hmm. That's more than online classes. Like that's more than like graduate courses. Okay, Doctor Stauk. Holy smack. And that's in state tuition? Yeah. Wow, they 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 crazy and y'all ain't even going on campus and they charging that. I mean you have the option to go on campus so they can't you can't like use sex to say again. But them. still it's not the same. You ain't getting the same um interaction and yeah. the same Yeah. <clears throat> wow. But I know that I know they're gonna get more money like it's normally towards the end of the semester, they give you another thousand dollars. So, I just can't believe it. it's costing that much because that is like ridiculous. Because credit hours for graduate courses four, eight, sixteen, yeah. So you could take one graduate course for fifteen hundred dollars. So two graduate courses would be three thousand. Three would be forty-five. Four would be six thousand. So you could then take, no, you could take four classes at a graduate level for that price. Mm. And that's how much they charge in everybody. You, and they didn't give you any kind of scholarship money, nothing. <laughs> no, but um, they sent me a list of scholarships that I need to apply for for next semester. That no one has applied for. Hi, Madison. I can't believe they done that way than that because that's just ridiculous. What was it? An unsubsidized loan they gave you? It was a subsidized. Why did they give you subsidized? Oh my! Subsidized, you don't. I had an option to get subsidized or unsubsidized, or both. But subsidized, yeah. it doesn't have any interest, and you don't have to pay back to you graduate. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I was saying. Why did they skip one? So that's what you're saying is you. They gave an option. Yeah, but literally, I just take certain a percentage of my checks every two weeks or working this summer as a server, I would usually be able to pay back the thousand dollars. Of course. So issue. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't want you to, you know, have that hanging over your head because they should you shouldn't have that. That's their fault. That's their because fault. There's no way you should have had that. You know, like how to do that, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it'll be all right. Okay. Because they could I mean they probably offered you way more than that though, didn't they? Um they offered me like Three thousand for unsubsidized, and they offered me like seventeen fifty for unsubsidized, and then they yeah. sent me a form if I wanted to request any more money. They would yeah. give it to me. Yeah, but you denied the other one, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, hopefully, if you go ahead and get those um, those scholarship things in, then it shouldn't. It shouldn't. It shouldn't cost that much. Okay. I mean, you shouldn't be able to yeah. lose out on that much next time, you know what I mean? Right. Oh, that makes me mad they done that. Well, maybe if you were here to help, Tisha. But they already processed my, like, that's for, for next school year, so I yeah. won't run into the same issue. So, because yeah. Miss Eden made sure that when they did the one for this school year, that they did the one for the next school year, too, so we didn't have to worry about waiting and paperwork and all that stuff so i don't have to worry about anything till 2022 yeah 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 but you have to they went ahead and done this one oh because it was already after the time of talent taxes and all that got gotcha, you got gotcha. you yeah. okay good so good so you're straight there that's good because that was smart to do that that way it's already in 
they got yep, no excuses they... for just getting approved stuff and nonsense or whatever. Yeah. I checked the video thing in. Um, yeah, right. It's still not working, so just check back. Really? Out. Yeah. It's still not working. Now, it very well may be Harley having issues with it, but again, I think Harley pushed off a little bit, maybe even subconsciously, setting up those video visits because seeing her mother face to face, even through a screen, is a lot different than just picking up these calls. And I don't know if she was ready for it. She subconsciously may have even pushed it off more than she normally would as an 18 year old because looking at you in the eyes would be really hard for the first time since you've been arrested for the murder of her brother. Now, please keep in mind, this is March 1st. The following day, we'll finish out this call from March 1st, but the following day, which we'll do tomorrow, um, is the one year anniversary of her arrest. Okay. And the first call she makes is to Amy Lang. And that's what we'll pick up tomorrow. So I'll finish the next call with Harley because it's back to back to this call. But that's how long it's been. One year. I mean, hold on. Let me let me let me look. I'm put your hold. If that number beeps, then okay. just pull it in. I'll put your hold and go look. Hold on. See if okay. that number beeps, just put it in. Still waiting for that damn phone to call. That number to call. <clears throat> right. Hey, so much girl, Sappho. Where is the summer logo? Oh, yeah. It still says that it's still being verified. Mm -hmm. I'll have to call me again today. That's ridiculous. It don't make any sense, but it is what it is. Where is my Bellamy Summer logo? Yeah. Why don't I have the Bellamy Summer logo? I know, Mandy. I know. I might just... Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang up and try right back in just a few more minutes, and then if they don't call, then they might couldn't do it. Okay? Okay. If they, if they call, just tell them to hold on and we'll call right back. Okay. Okay. And then I won't bother you anymore with it for a while. All right. Love you. I'm going to wait okay, a minute. Okay, <laughs> then I won't bother you anymore with it for a while. So she hangs up and she does call right back. So I'll play this one through because it's not that long. Um, but still, just hanging on to her on this damn call so she could beep in whatever criminal she's trying to. Tell no Link. Hello? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, no one ever called? No. Oh, okay. my God. I'll just talk for like a minute and then don't worry about it. Oh. I'll just talk for a minute. Don't worry about it. I didn't get a free phone call today, did I? Thank you. I did? Yeah. Oh, the first one. Oh, when I called the first time. Mm hmm Oh, I hung up really quick. Yeah. Dang on it. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Like, that didn't even dawn on me. The dude oh. dawn on me. <laughs> Not me cross the head. Good night, MK. All right. Well, make sure you put try to put that hinder down there so I can put it on my phone. I got that. I got uh, uh, money on Oh, my... oh, she just slid that right in there. Make sure you put that hundred on my account. Just when I, I I keep getting on you about the bills and how'd you take a loan, but make sure you put that hundred dollars on my books, okay? My shebangs are very important. Make sure you put try to put that hinder down there so I can put it on my phone. I got that. I got money on my video visit thing, so that's what. <laughs> Been trying to use that, you know, um, because yeah. like I said on my video visit, but I guess we gotta still. I just checked it, it says still being done. I don't know, just tell them they need to get it together, man. This is bull crap. <laughs> I know, I sent them the ID twice. It takes like 48, like 
48 hours is what it takes. It's been like... They told me for 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes. Well, then it's really not 10 minutes. And, you know, it's just tropical. I hope, beach lover. It's tropical. You don't talk now. I don't talk now. Yeah, I found a logo. You did? Yeah, I was looking for this logo. No, that's a PDF. Huh? Huh? Cool, cool. Okay, well... And I won't worry about it. Maybe they got caught up today. Okay. And uh, I love you so much. And is it warm today? Yeah, it's like 75. 75. Oh, yes. Think about uh, Starbucks for me or get something. You know. I will. I'll be thinking about it. I'm about to go drink my hot milk, pretend it's Starbucks. <laughs> All right. I love you so much. I love you too. Okay. Bye. Bye. She is gross. First of all, your damn hot milk breath ain't nobody got time for that. Thank you, Alina. Alina just gifted another five memberships. You're very kind. Thank you so much, Alina. And congratulations to our newest members. Please thank Alina if you received a membership. Ain't nobody want your hot, sorry, I was like waiting to say this. Ain't nobody want your hot milk breath. Already we know that's dang 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 but for Rizzle, okay? Hot milk, no. And Tisha, no. But how heartbreaking it is, how heartbreaking it is to listen that she's willing to put her child in this position. One year, the following day, it's one year anniversary of her getting arrested. Do you think that maybe that's on Harley's mind? It just passed the one year anniversary of Gannon's murder. Everywhere all over the news, it's you dropping your lawyers and going pro se. Do you think this could be a cause of stress to your child? Do you think this is impacting your child? This is everywhere, all over social media, all over the fucking news. Mainstream media news. Do you once ask her how she's holding up? No. Instead, you're having your daughter get involved in communications with other criminals going against the rules, which means that you very easily could have gotten take your child taken off the contact list. You were willing to lose communication with your child over this. That's something I'll never understand. I really won't. It's gross. It's sick. But tomorrow when we pick up and I'll schedule tomorrow's, um, it's going to be March 2nd. So it's going to be one year exactly since Letitia was arrested and charged with Gannon's murder. And that first phone call is with Amy Lang. And so I'm curious to see what she's going to say, what she's going to do. Um, so that will be tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. But thank you all so much for being here with me. You guys are the absolute most amazing group of people I could have ever at imagined for my channel to have. Um, thank you for every single one of you who are a member, whether you got it yourself or you were gifted. You are all valued. Thank you for anyone who may not be a member, but just a subscriber. You are absolutely value just as much. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your night and I will see you all tomorrow.